this edition of Stream On. I'm Jim Williams, your host, and today we have a special one for you. I know a lot of fans are excited. Series 9, Doc Martin, drops on Acorn TV in less than 24 hours, okay? Meanwhile, for those of you listening to us in the UK, be sure to tune in on ITV tonight as we kick off Series 9, Doc Martin, and our guest is the man himself, Martin Clunes. Martin has played that role since day one. He is Martin. And I got to tell you, Martin, it's a lot of fun chatting with you. Looking forward to it. Let's talk about Series 9, Doc Martin. Oh, great. That's nice to hear. That's really nice to hear. It feels like it when we do it. You know, and this year was it was no different. It was it, it was a joy, and if everybody felt like they were at the top of their game, and everybody they had good stuff to do. If you know what I mean in the script, yeah. And everybody mm-hmm. was sort of relishing their jobs, and and uh, I guess when you're in a company of people and you know each other that well, right, it kind of frees you up a bit to 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 be your best self. If you know what I mean. But yeah. Also, the script felt particularly solid this year, and I think we've. Kind of up the funny a bit. Mm-hmm. Well, it's um, look, without it's, sacrificing the drama, but um, right, but yeah, well, yeah. It's a it's a fun it's a fun ride. Um, I gotta say <laughs> that we know one thing, all right? Martin wouldn't have a Facebook page, but it's quite possible that Louisa would. And if Louisa had a punk had a Facebook page, it would say you know under relationship married. But it's complicated. Uh, the relationship <laughs> that the two of you have had over the eight years has been, it's been such a fun and, and interesting ride, to say the least. <laughs> yeah, it has. Yeah, it's, it's really good fun to play. Uh, she's so gorgeous and, you know, clever and funny. And and now we've sort of stopped, um, not the animosity, but we've taken a right. few of the, you know, the, they have to coexist because they coexist, if you know what I mean. You can't keep sure. banging into each other. But but it's lovely because you see flashes of why they're together, of how they mm-hmm. sort of mutually support one another. Just little just little flashes, but it's 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 been a fun ride. Um, yeah, because there's an issue. We we are throughout the series trying for another child. Um, so of course there's medical implications which fascinate the doctor there, but, but, but with an interest that you might not necessarily want from a husband. Yeah. You know well, we mean. also I understand in uh, series nine get to see a little bit more now of James as the young lad as opposed to the baby. <laughs> yes. Yes. Um, yes, we well, we put off aging, James, you know, as long as we could, mainly because Caroline Katz refuses to age visibly. Um, and so we <laughs> had to keep the baby a baby. All right. um, but <laughs> but uh, no, he has got a little bit older, and we had a, yeah, we had a great, um, a very characterful young man um, yeah. called Elliot, playing him. Right, Elliot Blake um, is, is, um, is supposedly becoming more like Martin and less like Caroline, or I'm sorry, Louisa. <laughs> well, you know, he's three years old, and right. uh, <laughs> we can call him an actor if we want. But right. you know what I mean. You kind of, you kind of take, <laughs> you take right. what you're given, and the the writers had written a kind mm-hmm. of mini me sort of. Deal. Right, um, that's funny. Which, which, which is a terribly funny idea, but you try explaining that to a three-year-old, you know. Um, we just don't, we we you take what you can get from from dogs and children. Well, it's <laughs> and, like the um, old dog. Uh, he had a lot of charm. He was actually really sweet, and that comes mm-hmm. through. Um, but also, he, he, Louisa has concerns because he's not making. He's quite happy with his own company in the story. Well, you know the old well, WC. Worried, he, yeah, she's concerned. The old WC Fields yeah. line: never work with animals or children. Um, yes. <laughs> it's 
except my only memory of WC Fields is him chasing an ostrich down the street in one of his. <laughs> he yeah, did something that's... right. <laughs> yeah, yeah, he's uh, clearly, clearly it didn't work out necessarily for him, but you know, things happen, right? Uh, now, you know, with characters like Burt Large, Ian McNeese, uh, you know, there's, there's so many layers to Doc Martin that uh, it's, it's like a beautiful thing that, I mean, I've, I have watched the series now, I'm in my fourth time of going through it. And that's, wow. I either have no life or clearly um, it's, I just, it, every time I watch it, I see something different that's funny. Oh, well, um, that's great. Or that's unique or, you know, it, it's uh, when I, obviously when you start something, right, you never know if anybody's going to like it. But in your wildest dreams, could you have believed that when you started Doc Martin, that you know, fast forward now, what is it, when you, that's almost like 12 or 14 years ago, right, that you started it? Yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah. fast forward 12 plus years, right, and it's become a worldwide sensation. Would you have ever in your wildest dreams thought that would be the case? No, not, no, couldn't, I couldn't have begun to. I mean, you just hope, you know, our first customers were ITV and the English audience, and we just sure. hope you get away with you know, pleasing them, but um, no, and it was, um, I, I think it sort of was maybe three or four series before it sort of caught on in the States, but mm -hmm. um, it's a very particular kind of mail I get from people in the States, very different from the mail I get from people in England who just mm -hmm. basically say can I have a signed photo or something, but I get really clear explanations of what, you know, how they found the show and what the show does for them. And I mm -hmm. suppose it's got an Epicurean appeal over there because you have to seek it out. Whereas over here, it's kind of mainstream, blah de blah, mm -hmm. you know, <laughs> uh, one of the one of the main channels, and it doesn't attract the same attention. It's, it, it's been really gratifying to see you to hear you say that you've watched it four times through and, and you're still finding stuff in it because we put lots of stuff in it and we can't expect. It people to necessarily get everything but it's, it's yeah. really gratifying. Hang on, well, it's good to have my dogs to shut up. Shut well, up! Have, <laughs> <Thank you. laughs> clearly clearly <laughs> you have the same dogs you have on the show. Um, ah. <laughs> you have that same issue. You know, you come out of your you know you come out of your office and there you've got dogs and you're like get out of my get out. <laughs> so I'm glad to see I'm glad to see at home that you have the same problems there as you have you know <laughs> Have on the show. Yes, times four. <laughs> oh, okay. Well, then you are a glutton for punishment. Um, yeah. It's uh, one of the other parts, and, and we'd be remiss without saying it. But Port Wayne, right? I, I've been to England, and I'm I'm dying to find out where that is because I've got, I've got to go to this village and check it out. Uh, it's really oh, become, have, yeah. uh, it's part of a care. It's it's part of the. It's another character in some ways. No, in, in a very real sense, it's always been it's always been a, a, a character. Yeah, it's always been a player. You know, it's, it's it's so nice to take pictures there, and it's great when we have new directors or. Mm -hmm. new people come to the show because you see it again afresh through their eyes especially the mm -hmm. director because they'll shoot it in a different way or you know now with the, with the advent of drones and things we can take lots of different pictures of it and it's just really it's just really pretty um and and it always was you know it, it was mm -hmm. it was a tourist destination long before we tapped up right we'll be back with more stream on right after this Welcome back to Stream On. Is there any is there anything about the character Martin Ellen that that you relate to? Oh yeah, loads. Yeah. Yeah, pretty much all of it. I made him up. Well that's a good point, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that part of it. Yeah, that, I, I kind of walked into that one, didn't I? Yeah, okay. Fair enough. But when when we were you know when when he was being made up, um, right? It, we were looking for something, or I was something that that felt like it was a, a good use of my skill set 
right. you know what I mean. And uh, uh-huh. um, um, with the very early scripts, it wasn't until we sort of put them through. We had some a pair of script doctors who were mm-hmm. like really good at just putting little sarcastic barbs in, and right. they they invigorated you know the scripts with with that early on that gave him that ability to because he is quite witty you know in right. some of the things he says to people but oh, he's absolutely. also quite neutral but yeah but um uh yeah no i i, I it, it just felt like it was a good use of, of yeah whatever it is i have to offer I don't know. but um uh I, and i love the marriage of the you know, there's a lot of technical stuff to mm-hmm. the the doctoring and the medicine right. and stuff and uh, using syringes and what have you and, and, and stuff. But I thrive on that. I've always have. And I uh, I think and, and only once you have that investment in that sort of black and white reality and sort of mm-hmm. the black and, the sort of life and death stuff, then you mm-hmm. can have really once you've invested in that. I, I believe you have a you've got a better chance of being funny, rather than if you're you know Mr. Stupid does a stupid thing if you know what I mean. Right. I, 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 mean, I don't get to... I don't get Mr. Bean. I right. Think he's a exactly. <laughs> well, one of the exactly yeah. He, well, Mr. If, if I'll tell you what, if it wasn't for Dr. Ellingham, half of Port Wayne wouldn't be there anymore. Uh, that's, got see, that's be, a superpower, isn't it? Yeah. They they totally they totally uh, keep you busy with everything possibly that you can imagine. I mean that uh, um, they they do uh, they do end up getting themselves in some pretty interesting bits, which uh, call to your expertise on pretty much anything having to do with <laughs> medicine. <laughs> yeah. From, yeah, that's definitely a superpower. Yeah. I mean, yeah, they, that, that's a challenging aspect to say the least. You know, Martin, one of the wonderful things about you as a talent uh, and a creator is that, uh, you know, obviously Doc Martin is successful, but you've been successful in so many other genres. I mean, obviously the comedy, Manhunt, um, and uh, and the, the shows where you've um, gone out and and been a bit of a tour guide. I mean, it's uh, it's a career that that I think uh, is one that is so incredibly entertaining from an audience standpoint that you have such a, a great depth. Well, thank you. That's very nice of you. I, um, um, I, you know, from my end, I just feel really, really lucky. And, uh, and I'll get found out one day. <laughs> well. I think we all have, we all come to that point, Martin, where we're going like, okay, this is really good. We're doing fine, but God help us if somebody finds out that you know that it's not it's not working for us, we're in trouble. Uh, but but then again, you were wise. You 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 were very wise in marrying Philippa because she's a very clever woman as well, and uh, you know she, I'm sure she can find challenges for you there. Well, <laughs> she keeps them coming. <laughs> but there you I am go. Very, you're right. I'm very, very lucky. <laughs> well, I I married a doctor, and uh, the old saying goes, "I married up." So clearly, I, you know, I, yeah, me too. I married up. I like that. Yeah. <laughs> no, that's clearly, clearly, that's what happened. But um, without giving away any, without giving away anything about series nine before, so that we don't get anybody in trouble. Um, because I don't want Philippa getting mad at me. Um, any little, any little tidbits of things that you can tell us about Series Nine that uh, that you think um, the fans are going to want to to check out? Well, yeah, um, yeah there's, um, you know, like as I said, there's, there's a kind of not harmony, but there's a the motor is idling in their marriage. It's not idling, it's functioning. Their marriage is functioning right. and they get along just fine. And mm-hmm. Martin is very supportive of Louise's studies and mm-hmm. uh, desire to practice um, uh, being a, a, a counsellor. But at right. the same time, it's happening in his surgery, so there will be infringements and interruptions to the normal running of the practice, which is, you know, is, is not 
for him, really, but he'll put up with it. So there's a bit of putting up with um, stuff. And then we've got this, the dog now lives with us. Oh, no. Um, okay. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, yeah, this was his big confession, um, uh, and uh, he he features a lot. The dog actually, um, and actually, there's one point where he gets the doctor. I don't think I think I can give this away. I, I have to operate on the dog. Uh oh. Um, because the vet, played by my old friend Caroline Quentin, um, mm -hmm. is, has had a temporary infection that's affected her eyesight. Mm -hmm. The dog needs urgent surgery, so she has to kind of talk me through operating on the dog. Um, um, which is actually, um, on, on the face of it, when, when, when it was written and we all read it, we thought, oh, this is going to be funny. But then, of course, you realise, actually, everyone's really worried about the dog. <laughs> well, yeah, you got the, you know, you'll have the ASPCA after you if you think that it... That oh, it's, God, yeah. It's, uh, yeah, the, yeah. Uh, you gotta be gotta be careful when you mess around with animals. People do take these things seriously, yeah, and you, uh, <laughs> you can you can really get yourself into trouble. Uh, but you know, yes, I, I no, think one everybody. Of the, one of the few complaints is when I ran that Yorkie over. Uh, <laughs> we've got a few <laughs> oh God, I don't know. The one scene of all the Doc Martins that I remember um, that just blew me away at the time was. The Martin and and Louisa, you know, dance of trying to get together and not get together and all that. And there's there's the the scene where you and she are riding home from after uh, something that you had done together to save a person's life from the hospital. And you're on your way home, and you're both sitting in in the taxi on the way home. And finally, there's the touch, and then there's finally there's the kiss, and then finally you say to her. You know, have you always had that problem with your breath? And I mean, no, no, no. I, do you have a regular I, oral hygiene right, program? Right, yeah. exactly. That's it. And I'm, I'm like, <laughs> all of this build up, and dude, you just blew it. I'm like, oh god. <laughs> it's like all of us cheering for you, Martin. You've done it, and then boom. <laughs> yeah, it's one of those. <laughs> Uh, I, that was almost bettered by the episode where I told us that she smelled faintly of urine. Right. That was, <laughs> oh, oh God. It's oh man. Oh, I oh, know. And she's the most beautiful woman in the world for gazing back at you. It's, it's hard, but it's sort of funny for that. Oh my God. It's I can't I can't see how you don't crack up. I mean, it's just absolutely hilarious. But um, <laughs> anyway. Like I said, if, if she had a Facebook page, it would be married but complicated. Um, <laughs> she, well, I think I think it, it, I hope the audience will enjoy the the, the functionality of their dysfunctional relationship um, in in series nine. I because I don't it think any like, it felt like a progress for us. Well, I I don't think anybody's going to be upset because Caroline Katz is <laughs> is a wonderful actress and a beautiful person yeah. and uh and yeah. i think that the chemistry that you guys have there's got to be you know there's there's got to be a progression you can't always stay the same and uh no, it's quite, uh quite. it's been fun but uh i can't tell you how excited we are are to get uh season nine i know that uh oh, everyone good. here well, in the I, states I are ready and <laughs> I look forward to hearing how it goes down now. But we're well, we're, we're 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 quietly confident, you know. It, it, it um, you know, it's still we're still. I think we're the last show to shoot on film, um, because nobody's ever complained about the way it looks, and it still does. It does. Film does give it a luster and a, a, a dynamism that you don't get. I don't think. Yeah. Digital, it's um, stuff, it's like so, a little yeah. movie. You know, <laughs> it's like it's no, it, it is. It, I mean, it's it's it, it's it's a quaint show, a wonderful show, and a show, frankly, that you know the entire family enjoys. Good. And there aren't well, many of those left. No, there aren't. There aren't. One other quick mm. thing, Martin, before we let you go, because I know we're running short on time here, but um, one of the things that 
that I think is exciting is that now we have through streaming and services like Acorn and uh, the opportunity to watch the show almost in the same time span as the folks who get to see it on ITV in, in, in England. And, and I really think that's, yeah, that's exciting. New. Yeah, yes, that is new. Well, except the, the real diehard fans um, mm-hmm. used to watch it illegally in the States and then gleefully you know, write to us saying, oh, we watched it illegally. Go, thanks. <laughs> <laughs> Well, watch it list. again, right? Yes, yeah, like <laughs> be sure to watch it a couple of times. But um, that, yeah, this is, I think, the first year that you. Um, yeah, it is. It's, it's almost it's... concurrent, isn't it? Yeah. 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 So. Yeah, no, yeah. I know it's a change, changing world, isn't it? Well, it's a fun world. I think that that uh, you know we we get to consume television from all over the world now, which we didn't, you know, it yeah, used to take time to get to us and. Um, you know, you can watch outstanding programming from, you know, all over the place. I, I know a couple of weeks ago, I was talking to Lu- Lucy Lawless down in Australia. And, you know, we were watching um, her show, um, you know, again, almost in real time. And, uh, wow. and it does give the opportunity to get some feedback. So, you know, it, it's a wonderful time to be involved in uh, you know, in this whole aspect of the streaming video services, because we, the world is coming closer together. The world is starting to look at each other's programming and consume it and, and enjoy it. And, and I think that, uh, you know, rather than wait three or four years to get to, to uh, perhaps stumble upon it yeah. uh, nowadays, it, it's right there and you can get it and you can get it at any time you want it and watch it and watch four or five or six of them or, two or three years of them or whatever is available. So yeah. it's, a, it's a good thing. Yeah, it is. Good time to be alive. Yeah, exactly. Well, one last one. What do you and Philippa watch when you watch television? Uh, what do we watch? We've been watching um, Paul Whitehouse and Bob Morton are going fishing. I don't know if that's made it over there. It's been it's sort of just two old comedians who both uh-huh. they both had heart scares and um, one said to the other one one had always been a, a lifelong angler and right. said come, come out fishing with me so each week they go off to some beautiful spot and they photograph it beautifully and they, they fish wow. for a different type of fish and they uh-huh. just talk nonsense and it's what they you know slow TV it's, it's, that's what we've been watching a lot of and stop they've just finished now but hmm. I think they're going to make some more Many thanks to Martin Clooms for joining us. Martin, of course, the star of Doc Martin, which premieres tonight on TV and tomorrow in the U.S. on streaming service Acorn TV. Be sure to check it out. Highly recommend.